Now here's the mystery. Do you have your blank version of the DPIC sitting here? If not, file, open recent, and you will have it in this list because you've made it. So click one or the other to open that up. And here we go, and I have the text tool here. I want to click away just so we all start the same place. Grab the text tool and click. And now remember how small that pops up? Let's change this right now to 72 so we can see what we're doing. And type, I'm going to go ahead and paste this so you don't have to watch me type. Type Valhalla Theater Arts Presents. And just know that theater is spelled R E. When they're presenting something, the theater, E-R, is the room they're in. Okay? So, spell it like that. I know it looks goofy. And then hit return and type Julius Caesar. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> okay. Was that autocorrect or was that me? Uh, Julius Caesar. And then grab the black arrow. Go ahead and do that. Pause the video. Now, alignment. I want you guys to understand, I see kids all the time. Let's go ahead and change this to, what, say 200. And then we can move this so you'll have more room than me so you can see what's going on. Now, the goal of this is to use Bebus in two different weights and have both of these lines the same length. And we're going to discover that all caps is going to look better than upper and lower case. And we're going to use Illustrator intelligently to do that. Now this is aligned left, and that's the default right here. If you want align right, and everything moves, of course, we'll pull this back over, um, because it's Depending upon is this point type, we just clicked. We didn't draw a rectangle. If you drew a rectangle, delete it, and that's area type, and click to use point type. And again, you know it's point type because we have a line underneath the text, and our bounding box here is defined by the length of the characters. All right, we're not going to work in a line left or a line right, we're going to work a line center because we want these two lines to be the same length. Now, it's really important that you use this and not spaces. I see kids do this all the time. They'll go, oh, I want to move this over so they do this. No. I think that's it. There we go. Hit return. And notice there's no space after presents. If I come here and hit the right arrow, I jump right down to the next line. It doesn't jump out, and that's really important that these don't have spaces after that last word. All right, so this is the beginning. And what we're going to do is do a Save As, Shift-Command-S, remember, File, Save As. And we're not doing D-Picks now. This is posters. So I'm going to come back to um, my Documents folder and create a new folder that's going to be called Posters. And inside this, notice how this is already highlighted? Don't type, don't hit, del I mean, don't hit delete, don't highlight anything. I see kids highlighting everything. Remember the .ai, that's the program. Never, ever, ever change that. So this is Julius, am I spelling that right? Okay, after I record this, I'm going to check the spelling, and hopefully my dyslexic self it didn't spell something wrong, but I'll discover that while this video renders.